I want to assure you that there's nothing I will ask you to do in this course that I haven't done or continue to do myself. Even though I've been an instructor for several decades, I regularly return to the student engagement technique section of the textbook to look for new insights on making my learning environment as engaging as possible. In this assignment, you'll develop an instructional strategies report based on one of the 50 student engagement techniques outlined in the text. While having all these options is exciting, it may also be difficult to narrow down your choices. It may help you to note that the sets are broken down into two categories. The first category emphasizes engagement techniques that will promote course-related knowledge and skills. The second category emphasizes engagement techniques that help develop learner attitudes, values, and awareness. I'm not going to offer any recommendations on which of the 50 sets you should use because I have found that there is a tendency for many people to simply do what the instructor suggests or mentions. The best recommendation that I have for you is to focus on your particular situation or need and then look for a strategy to help you address this need. I recently developed a new workshop and was looking for a way to get my participants to come together quickly and establish a high degree of collaboration. I adapted the jigsaw technique to have my students break into separate groups, work on an aspect of the problem, and then come together as a larger group to come up with a broader solution to the problem. There are many ways that you can apply the 50 sets, so take some time and consider how you can use these sets to enhance your learning environment. Please keep in mind, none of the strategies are perfect. They all need to be adapted to your situation, which means there will be advantages and disadvantages, which will result in you having to make trade-offs when using any of these strategies. One of the keys to success with this report is to use a real-world instructional setting or situation. We've asked you explicitly how you might use this in your teaching, so the more authentic your perspective is, the easier the assignment will be. For those who are new to instruction, you may want to consider some recent instruction that you have been engaged in and think about how you would do things differently if you were the instructor. You have an option to do this report as a short video. Please refer to the best practices section to help you develop a useful video. This is one of my favorite sections of the course, and I find myself repeatedly revisiting the student engagement technique section of the book. You have an opportunity to create an engaging strategy that, will, that you can use immediately in your learning environment and enhance the learning for your students.